She's somebody who has been a prisoner in some ways of her own grief uh, for the last 22 years. And um, she's been living in this uh, hotel slash hospital triage center for gangsters. And um, she lives to take care of people and to help them. And in some ways that's a distraction from the grief that she's been feeling and uh, it's her purpose. Dave Batista's character, Everest, is kind of my companion in the movie, is Nurse's companion in the movie, which is pretty funny because he's about 6'4 and pretty massive and I'm super tiny and old in the film. Morgan arrives um, and is this surprise that comes into the nurse's world. Um, She's been living, uh, the nurse has been living in Hotel Artemis for 22 years and been in not wanting to talk about what had happened in her past. And here's this knock at the door of somebody who's suffering and is saying, you know, please let me in. I'm, I'm hurt. I'm, I, need, I need help. Please let me in. Um, and she realizes it, that, that Morgan was her, her son's childhood best friend. Honolulu uh, uh, is, is a sort of a larger-than-life guy who dabbles in drugs and never makes the right choice and uh, who is always relying on his brother to take care of them. And Waikiki is the guy who has a plan, who always has a plan. Uh, usually that plan involves bailing out his brother. Jeff Goldblum playing Niagara. Um, this, uh, you know, super suave uh, Malibu gangster um, that has the kind of Jeff Goldblum flair that nobody else in the world has, um, who knows my character from the past. This is a movie for Sterling to really show that he's a leading man. And uh, it's wonderful to get to watch that because he is. He's so strong and he's, um, he really invites the audience into his, into his character's psyche. When I told my son, who is also named Charlie, that Charlie Day would be in the film, he actually went outside and ran around the house three times. <laughs> um, he really brings that improvisational quality um, to the film. He's, he's, it's like a big spark that comes in the film. And yes, you hate him. Uh, Charlie's, Charlie Day's really good at that. He's really good at being hated. Um, but a lovely guy. It's been fun working with him. I've really been watching him for a long time and have been wanting to work with him for a while. Um, incredibly versatile. Um, and he is a, has a, such a wonderful combination of being um, such a good theater actor and bringing that theatricality and yet making it completely 100% natural and real. It's fun watching him. Dave Batista, my, my uh, partner in crime in the film. Um, I think uh, he might be the person I didn't anticipate I was going to love uh, this guy so much. Um, he's so gentle and he's so soft-spoken and you know every time he grabs my hand it's kind of like the softest, nicest fly is grabbing my hand. That guy, that guy could squash me. Sophia Batella, amazing actress, um, such a presence. I, I've never really seen anybody like her in movies. Um, that she, there is a uh, toughness to her, uh, and yet she's so sweet and beautiful and soft, but you know that she could kill you. Brian Tyree Henry, I mean, what an amazing actor. I, I, I hadn't, didn't know much about him until I came onto the film, and um, he's really a light in the film, and I think really is, is, is shows so much about his uh, relationship with Waikiki, with his brother, with Sterling. Um, and the two of them together have such, such great magic together.
Drew is amazingly visual, and uh, he comes. He's, he might be one of the most prepared first-time directors I've ever worked with. Really, um, I think I feel like this movie's been in his body for a very long time, and um, nobody has more reference pages than Drew Pierce. Hi there, I hope you liked the video. Now, I have to be quick on this one as I'm trying to set a record. Did you know the shortest performance to win an Oscar for Best Supporting Actor was Anthony Quinn's Eight Minute to The Forces Go Again in the 1956 movie Last for Life? Meanwhile, the shortest performance to win an Oscar for Best Supporting Actress was Beatrice Strait's Five Minutes and Forty Seconds performance in the 1976 film Network. Yes! Well, looks like a bit both of them. So if anyone from the Academy is watching, you know where to find me. Oh, by the way, my name is Valeria. Now, remember, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. See ya!